Yeah. All right, we're out for a drive. We're gonna we're on the way to visit my parents, Teddy's grandparents, and uh, hang out and have some fun. And we've been uh, talking and thinking about how to lose weight, and more specifically, how to lose weight by eating anything you want, eating whatever you want to eat. Now, it's uh, the idea comes from Buddhism, right? I've done lots of reading about Buddhism over the time and there's, you know, we, people, uh, there's lots of things that people want and when you first get a job, for example, you want a car, so you get a crappy old car because it's all you can afford, but you're happy with it, you're pretty happy with getting that car and then uh, you move along, you get a promotion or maybe you get a different job that pays a bit more and then you want a better car. And then you, you move up the ladder a bit more and you earn a bit more money and then you want an even better car and then you're getting a brand new car and then sure enough, you keep working your way up. Maybe you start your own business, I don't know, and then, then you want a Porsche. And then you're super happy with the Porsche and that's awesome and you, life couldn't get any better than having a Porsche but before long you want a Rolls Royce and etc. And then eventually you want a private jet and no matter what you've got, you, you know, it doesn't matter how good your car is or how good your private jet is, there's n you still want more. You want a bigger house, a bigger mansion, and you want more houses all around the world, and you want, there's just, there's no end to what you want. And so, the, the, the idea of Buddhism's treatment for this is to uh, understand that no matter what happens you're never going to get everything you want there's no way it's impossible all right you're never going to make enough money or have enough time or anything like that to get everything you want so how do you do it the only way is to remove the want if there's if you can't get everything you want by earning enough money then you have to find a way to get rid of the want and just be happy with what you have. And now, that makes a lot of sense to me and I think we can apply the same principles to eating. You know, if you're, if you're a food addict and you, you know, there's, there's no way that you can ever eat everything you want to eat and day after day after day, you can try all these new delicious foods and try all these recipes you saw on these reality cooking shows and you can try every new restaurant in town and you can try all the different chocolate bars and flavours of pizza and whatever, you're never going to have everything you want. You're never going to be able to try every bit of food that's out there and you know there's always going to be something new. So what do you do? Well, that's what the Spud Fit Challenge is all about for me. It's uh, the idea is to remove the want. If you can't eat every bit of food that you want to eat, and the way that you are eating is obviously making you sicker anyway, you can ha you can actually can eat anything you want and lose weight by removing the want. So I'm quite happy at the moment, even now that my spud bit challenge is over, I'm quite happy with still eating mostly potatoes, very simple foods, I eat bananas, I eat cherry tomatoes, I eat spinach. I don't really go for any crazy delectable foods that are, you know, rich and whatever. I eat very simply, I eat rice and beans sometimes, or oats or whatever. It's very, very simple. And the beautiful thing about it is that I'm eating everything I want. And even while I was doing the Spud Fit Challenge, I was quite happy with just potatoes. Even for the last couple of months, I pretty much only ate cold, boiled, pot <coughs> sorry, potatoes. And it was everything I wanted. I was losing weight eating everything I wanted to eat, and I still am. I've lost a couple of kilos this year already, and I'm eating literally everything I want to eat. The thing about it is that there's not a lot that I want. So that's the thing to work on. You don't need to worry about trying to eat less and move more and whatever. You need to work on removing the want for these crazy 
foods that are making you fat and unhealthy. Does that make sense? Yes. Mandy, yeah? Yes. Have I explained myself? Maybe it makes complete sense. All right, cool. <laughs> well, if you like what I'm saying, then like and subscribe and share and comment below and all that. And uh, go and subscribe for, to my newsletter at spudfit.com. And um, check out the coaching page. I'm giving uh, coaching uh, now, individual one-on-one -on -one coaching to help people uh, with removing the want. <laughs> I missed the sign-off. Mandy missed the sign-off. <laughs> what? <laughs> Spot up, everyone. <laughs>